At 11, two women terrorized inside a home, and tonight police are trying to hunt down their attacker. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The details are disturbing. Investigators say the suspect may have been watching the women as they unloaded items from their car. They say he then forced his way inside their place with a knife. This was at the Stone Castle Apartments. That's a mile from the intersection of Howell Branch Road and Cimarron Boulevard. New 6's Jennifer Ortega is live at the apartment complex where this happened. And Jen, you spoke with people who live there. Yeah, people that live here didn't want to go on camera, knowing the suspect is still out there. However, they say they're surprised because it's a safe area, that it's a gated community, and they feel secure. Tonight, police are working hard to make sure they catch this guy. Well, he's clearly dangerous. He's committed an armed home evasion. He saw two young ladies that he felt that he could victimize and prey upon. In a press conference this afternoon, Police Chief Larry Krantz tells us they're actively searching for the suspect. After he forced his way inside an apartment Saturday night and went after two 24-year-old women. And he forced his way in, brandishing uh, what I believe to be a knife, forced these two young ladies onto the floor. According to the police report, the women tried to get away by running into one of the bedrooms, but the suspect followed and police say he raped one of the victims. Police say the terror continued as a man forced the two into one of their cars and made them go to Publix on North Orlando Avenue to withdraw money from the ATM. This victim was able to notify a Publix employee of what was going on and they then called 911. Police say the suspect was spooked that it was taking so long, grabbed the victim's keys, and took off in her silver 2006 Toyota Matrix. Now police are working with the victims to compile a sketch of the suspect saying he's dangerous. He forced his way in at knife point. He is dangerous. We need to locate him and put him in jail. We reached out to Publix for a comment about their workers being able to help in this rescue, and they sent us this statement saying, we're definitely thankful that the two young ladies were not injured, and we will continue to work with law enforcement. Live in Castleberry, Jennifer Ortega, News 6. Jen, thank you. And take a look at this. This picture matches the description of the getaway vehicle. It is a silver 2006 Toyota Matrix. Again, Castleberry police are working on a composite sketch of the suspect. If you know anything about this, Call Crime Line at 1-800-423-TIPS.